She's starring in the new Lifetime movie that's sure to send a chill down your spine. All right, look, goosebumps. <laughs> Here to tell us more, Daphne Zuniga. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. First of all, let's just say that you came into my life on Spaceballs. Oh. And it's everything. It's a awesome. classic. It's a legendary movie. Thank you. You've come a long way since then, haven't you, Mama? Well, I started out as a princess, so <laughs> I don't know if you can beat that, but I try. <laughs> you try. You've done pretty dang well. Yeah, thank Tell you. Tell me about this project that you have. It is not flowery. It is not sparkles in unicorns. No. It is pretty deep. Yes, it is. And it's V.C. Andrews. She's famous yes. for being twisted family stories. Flowers in the attic. Flowers in the attic. Um, there's, you know, abuse incest and um, but this one is I play this evil nurse that is in charge of a girl in a wheelchair and so uh, I'm not a friendly nurse as it's been told I don't have a good bedside manner <laughs> I basically no. like uh, abuse her in ways that I can and um, anyway it was really fun to do <laughs> <laughs> I'm a twist it was, was so much fun <laughs> it was so fun you know to, allow, to let the dark side out right you know so um, in a way that's safe for mankind yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly exactly when it's um, you know on the set and in the script and right. so we had a good time and um, you know got to work with Jason Priestley who not bad who uh, of course from 90210 and my Melrose days yeah it's a little we, Aaron spelling reunion yeah, in a weird way yeah no it's been it was really great to work with him and um, every morning in the makeup trailer he's getting his prosthetics and gray hair yeah, he aged a little bit. Yes. How, he aged. how far in the future did he age? Well, he's got a full on white beard and hair and, you know, jowls and. Still would, hot? I mean, those blue eyes, still hot. Still hot at 78. <laughs> <laughs> and do you age at all in this movie? Yeah, well, they would, you know, they. Yeah, yeah. And she's very. The producers would come in and say, we need her scary, scary, scary. So for the first time in my career, it was like they were enhancing the lines. And half of me is like, yes, I'm a character actor. And the other half is, what are you doing? Your Don't vanity do was like, no! <laughs> I'm used to covering everything up, yes. not enhancing the... So, but it was freeing. liberating, yeah, was really say, freeing. Yeah. Just to be able to go there, and once sometimes you never know what it's going to be that clicks you into that character. Sometimes wardrobe, yes. sometimes makeup. Once that stuff was on, boom, you're in character. Oh yeah, and my hair's all pulled back in this tight bun, and the nurse's outfit, and it was really in the cardigan, and that just helped me when I'm giving her her hyperdem hyperdermic needle shots oh and gosh. her pills and stuff. It's Have you gotten it out your system? Yes. I'm, I just want to warn the Gone. public. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> you. But we all have, you know, that's the thing about our humans is that we have the yin and yang. So yes. it's nice to be able to express that. You're you, so, mm -hmm. Right? You get it. You feel me. I feel you. You do. Because I, I, t I tell that to people. I say it's really fun to get out your shadow side, that society. You know, we couldn't handle that. We don't, we don't, you know, as long as you're not hurting anyone, like you say, to get out that anger. And as an actor, you use a lot of substitutions and yeah. emotional stuff that you are angry at, and you just enhance it. So it is liberating. Where can people find this? It's Lifetime, this uh, Lifetime. Saturday. Um, it's August 17th, this Saturday at 8 o'clock, uh, 7 yeah. Central. Uh, it's called Gates of Paradise. <laughs> That's an ironic title. <laughs> maybe or maybe not. Yeah. There's so many reboots going on. Have you had a second to, to check out BH90210? I haven't. I have it uh, recorded at home. Okay. But, um, you know, I mean, no one's officially talked about a reboot for Melrose Place, if that's what you were going to ask. Yeah. But, you felt uh, where I was I going. We're so it. here, Daphne. Yeah, I know. I well, love why it. Why not? It seems like a no-brainer. Yeah. I mean, there are so many reboots right now. It's like every day I hear of a new one. Um, and I'm still in touch with uh, Laura, Layton, mm -hmm. and Courtney, and um, and Grant. You guys have girl power so, lunches and Grant. Yeah, <laughs> and Grant. We bring Grant to all of our. He's um, allowed. He's allowed. But anyway, I, I don't think if the right material came along, I don't think that there would be a problem with the reboot. Not in my book. I don't know. I don't know if I'm spoiling anything for you because you haven't seen BH90210, mm -hmm. but it's sort of like a turn on its head. It's mm -hmm. not a real show. They're like their own people. Yeah. So like Jason's Jason, Shannon Shannon, and it's like a, I don't know how you would describe it. You're right. All right. Yeah. Would you be down for that in a Melrose Place rendition? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Daphne. It's, sure. That'd it's be cool, Daphne. right? And then I got to like pull out the old camera as Joe that never worked and, <laughs> um, you know, uh, so yeah, I mean, again, I think that's a clever take on it. It is. Um, you want to do something that's not too repetitive, but you want, 
clever in its own way. So I don't know. What we'd have to get, we have to get going on that. Come on, people. Start people thinking. Are ready to go, Melrose Place. I love that. Yeah. You know, you're also you're not just an actress. You've been sort of dabbling in directing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. So I directed my first movie, um, and it aired on Lifetime. It's going to nice. air again this month. I think it's August twenty um, second or third. It's called Deadly Assistant. It was a thriller. Wow. Can you tell? Deadly Someone's assistant. like likes the dark stuff. More shadow work that <laughs> I was shadow. taking care of. Yes. Um, but my next one that I'm um, in prep for is a family drama. And yes. um, that's an indie and called The Waiting Room. What, so. what, what is it for Phil for you, the directing versus the acting? You know, I started to feel in the last few years I would be doing my role and then going back to my trailer and sitting there and I felt unused and I felt like there was more potential in me and more creative outlet that I wanted to. I wanted to stay. So I asked an executive at Lifetime if I could shadow a show and shadow some directors. And um, Sharon Bordas, who was at Lifetime at the time, sent me on Unreal, the show nice, at Lifetime. Yeah. So I shadowed about three directors over the course of their last season and learned so much. Yeah. And I just, I just love it. it. You are exhausted with all of your possible creativity. Now, do you think there's more for you? Like, you think you're hanging up your actress hat and doing? No, it's both. You need both. In my new one, I will be doing a small part um, of the mom. Okay, let me tell you, girl, because Denzel Washington says it's the hardest thing in the world to direct yourself. Are you ready for that? We'll see. I mean, let me tell you how Mel Brooks directs himself. <laughs> okay. okay? Don't because break it's it down. like he comes out, he does his song, his thing is yogurt. He's like, cut. Perfect! Print it! <laughs> Move on! <laughs> so, I'm gonna go with that way. <laughs> go with that way! Oh, every take was perfection, Daphne! Perfect! <laughs> As she talks in the mirror. Yeah, like that's it. exactly. That's, that's what we need, is a little positive reinforcement from our directors. Exactly. Right? I like, and I like exactly. it. Well, congratulations on all your Thank successes. You. It's pretty amazing. You recently... <clears throat> Ah, recently got married too. I did, I did. After 12 like, years of <laughs> making really? sure that we loved each other and we're with each other forever, we finally tied the knot. I think that's smart. Mm -hmm. I re I I've run too. twice, so I, I think it's smart to live and like just be in the real world together. Yes. And make a conscious decision every day to want to be together. Yes. And then go, why not? Yes, that's right? exactly what it was. It was like, I, I know that I have you forever anyway. I know that I'm committed to you forever anyway. But let's see what this feels like. Yeah. There was no fear in it because we'd been together for so long and been through so much. Um, Were you scared in the beginning of more like, let's say the seventh year of your relationship? Was it more a fear of that commitment to go all the way and that you burn that out? I think so. I think yeah. there was some fear of commitment because I never wanted to get divorced. Um, this is my first marriage. Um, you know, I'm not, as, you, as you've said, I've been around for a few years. I've been here on the earth for a few years. Just a few. So I waited a long time. And um, I think part of it was I'm from a divorced parents, and I, I didn't want to do that, so I kind of just waited until, you know. But you but, found the right partner that uh, understood that. Did I ever? I'm so lucky. Early on when we were dating, I would get in my car and go, Daphne, don't you ever break up with him. <laughs> Don't ever break up with, because you know I thought you know what I mean. It's like sometimes we don't make the best. Honey, and I was like, don't yes. ever. So. So what was it that made him the perfect guy for you? Oh my God, he has my back. He said mm. from day one, you know, I have your back. We're on the same team. I will never betray you. That's a start, right? That's a huge start. Yeah. And to be able to feel that in your soul, it's not yeah. just words, yeah. but action. Yeah. It's everything. Yeah. And I and I feel the same for him. I just want him to be happy and healthy. And it's like our faults and our humanness and all of that, it's part of the mix. Yeah. But you have a choice because I love him and because we've committed now and because we know each other so well, I know also the stellar goodness that um, is worth all of the other stuff. And yeah. you know, he just allows me to be me. Oh, that you just give me so much hope. Because I'm not doing it until I feel like that. Wait 12 years. I think I'm going to write a book. Thank yeah. you so much, love. Congratulations yes. on all your Thank success. You. Girl power. Yay. Be Thanks. sure to watch Daphne in Gates of Paradise, which is a little scary, tomorrow night on Lifetime. <laughs> One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.